Hi everyone, my name is Sumit. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a trap in Damiano defense. This is a very interesting trap, and if you are a beginner or a hobby chess player, or if you have started your chess journey, this is a trap that you should uh, you should study and understand. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. Um, e4 by white, e5, a standard response, knight f3. Now, black plays f6. This is an anti-positional move because uh, the usual replies are knight, F, uh, knight c6 or um, knight f6, which is a Petrov's defense, or you can black and play d6 as well. But f6 is an anti-positional move. Why? Because um, you are moving a pawn in front of the king and you're weakening the squares in front of the king. Uh, with this move. So how to take advantage of this anti-positional move by white? It's called the Damiano defense. So um, the popularity of this move is uh, one, this one simultaneous game where uh, Robert Fisher, Bobby Fisher played against um, an unknown player and he played f6 and gained a draw against Bobby. So here white should play knight takes e5. Yes, this is the reputation of uh, the Damiano defense, knight takes e5. Now, if queen e7, just uh, attacking the knight without taking the pawn, um, uh, hoping to win back the e4 pawn, doesn't work much because after knight f3, queen e4, bishop e2, um, bishop e7, castle, white has got lead in development, uh, knight c3 is coming. Rook. Knight c3 is coming, rook e1 is coming, and you know, there's a big pressure against the black king. And uh, you know, there's it will take a couple of moves to uh, develop this knight as well uh, because the natural square of the knight is occupied by the pawn. But let us look at what will happen after f takes e5. Queen h5 check the um, obvious move. g6 is not possible because after queen takes e5, um, you are giving a check at the same time. Um, uh, threatening to capture the rook here, so this is a double attack and the rook will be lost. So g6 is not possible, so king e7 is the only move after queen takes e5. King uh, f7 is the only move, bishop c4 check. Uh, now what? Um, after king g6, queen f5 check, king h6, d4 check to play g5. Now h4. A good move because this uh, rook is also coming into action. So after bishop e7, h takes g5, um, double check with the pawn and the rook. The king has to move to g7 and queen f7 is checked. So this is a very interesting trap, and uh, every beginner should uh, know this trap because uh, you know the chances are you might. Um, get this in a in a serious game. When I started my chess journey, uh, this occurred in a game uh, in a tournament game, and I was able to win this uh, without uh, much effort because I knew this variation very well. Now d5. The idea of d5 is that now the bishop is controlling the f5 square, and there is no check uh, you can give with the queen. So um, bishop takes d5, king g6, h4, turning h5. Uh, so black is h6. Now uh, you can post the video and try to find the find reputation of uh, d5. I'll give you a couple of seconds. So if you found bishop takes b7, you are a good player because after, this is a deflection sacrifice after bishop takes b7, otherwise the rook is lost. Um, white plays uh, queen f5 checkmate. So this is the Damiano defense for you. You, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go through the moves once again and try to understand this trap. The chances are uh, you might encounter this trap in a serious game. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And please like the video and share this video with your friends. And until next time, I'll come up with a new video. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.